Hi everyone, I am Shruti Ujjargi from BIS Page Solutions and in this video I am going to tell you how to create mosaic plot in R. So what is mosaic plot and what it does? Mosaic plots are used to display proportions for tables that are divided into two or more conditional distributions. Mosaic plots are a great way to visualize hierarchical data. A collection of rectangles represents all the elements to be visualized with the size and color of the rectangles coding attribute. But what makes this chart unique is the arrangement of the elements where there is hierarchy those elements are collected and labeled together perhaps even with subcategories. So a mosaic plot can be used for uh, plotting categorical data very effectively with the area of the data showing the relative proportions. So in the R we can create mosaic plot by using the mosaic command and it does take one argument which is the x that means a table or a formula okay so let's begin with our r studio and work on the mosaic plots so i have a data santa here we will use a made up data set dream lily to make it easier to figure out what r is doing the idea is that there are 16 uh, students 16 children of age 8 are interviewed and they are asked two questions the first question is do you believe in santa claus if they say that they do then the term belief is recorded and otherwise the term no belief is recorded and the second question is whether or not they have an older brother older sister or no older sibling so the answer are recorded as older brother older sister and no older sibling and the data is given as a string so r will automatically treat them as categorical data and the data types are factors okay you already know how to convert uh, or create table in R. So I'm going to create a table totals by using the table command and pass the argument for Santa dollar belief and comma Santa dollar sibling. Now mosaic plot is created using mosaic plot command and this totals passes argument then you can give the title to your plot by using the main argument I write older brothers okay then x lab for naming the x axis belief in Santa Claus and YLAB for giving name to Y axis older sibling now you can see here the mosaic plot is created here is the belief column and here is the no belief and there are older sister older brother and no older sibling for the belief and for the no belief students or children you can also colors the plot can be specified using the call argument or col argument the argument is a vector of colors <coughs> used for the rows So you can see clearly the number of older sibling is denoted by the red color, older brother by green and older sister by blue color. We can even change the labels and the order that they appear in the plot. When changing the order, keep in mind that the table is a two dimensional array. The indices must include both rows and columns and transpose command t can be used to switch how it is plotted with respect to the vertical and horizontal axis so for that purpose just use the above code line and the totals 
that means the table is transposed by using the t command within the bracket i write totals okay and also you must change because the x and y axis are changes so the arguments must be changes so this one is your y lab and this one is your x lab and also the we need to pass only two colors and then enter so this is how it will convert it the number of older sibling older brother and older sister and number of belief and non belief students are there so mosaic plots are very easier for plotting categorical data and if you have any doubts you can ask me thanks for watching